you can so clearly hear the emotion in his voice as he's singing this song. Some people you can tell when there is just pure unbridled emotion pushing them in a performance. And with this one, it's there. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Harmonic Chaos. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if it's your first time. I hope you're all having a blessed day. Today, I'm checking out Tommy Johansson's cover of The Sound of Silence. Now, The Sound of Silence, I, okay, this is gonna be controversial. I don't like the original version all that much. I know it's a classic, and it's a classic for classic reasons by Simon and Garfunkel. I just, uh, I can appreciate it for what it is, but I'm not a huge fan. I prefer the cover done by Disturbed. Just the vocal performance is more engaging. The instrumentation is more engaging. Engaging. Also, I just like the way that the lead singers, I forget his name, his voice sounds in, within the context of their version of that song. So I'm excited for Tommy's to see what he does with it and what direction he takes it. Because there's quite a few different ways you can go with this. You can go the more orchestral and weighty version, or you can kind of do a stripped back version, which is like more close to the original. So I'm excited to see what direction he takes this. So with all that being said, let's just get into it. In this video from I read the a brief little caption is dedicated to Christian who I I don't know who he was but obviously he was a friend of Tommy's so it's a eulogy not a eulogy, de dedication in, me in, in memoriam of Christian. Hello darkness my old friend I've come to talk who you again because a vision softly creeping Left its seeds while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain Still remains Within the sound of silence it also says in the, like the description that it's a um, a cover of the Disturbed version, so it's going to be more along those lines. So that means the instrumentation will be interesting to hear later on down the line. As far as the vocal treatment goes, there's a reverb happening. I don't know if there's... I can't pick out if there is a delay if there is one it's very very slight there is definitely reverb happening it sounds almost cathedral which is kind of just like a setting there's like a, a stage of delay maybe not quite cathedral but it's a bigger room for sure but it sounds fantastic so far and the piano is expertly played looking at the picture of the piano that's on the screen though looks very very beat up or well loved as instruments are often called but yeah it this is a really great cover of a really great cover of a good song so in restless sleeps i walk alone narrow streets of cobblestone need the halo of a street light. i don't often hear tommy sing in his lower registry but he has really gr like i mean just in general he has really great vocal quality but the low registry that he has has fantastic qualities to it and also the vibrata control that he has is so good it is so 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 good uh, i turn my collar to the cold and damp when my eyes were stabbed by the flash of a neon light that split the night and touched the sound of silence and in the naked light I saw ten thousand people maybe more people talking with That portion, oh man, that portion was so well done. 
with the translation of the original material to the way that he sang it. Cause, and it's weird. Cause this whole time I know what the original, I, I know what the version that they're do that he's doing the cover is like what it sounds like. Cause I've listened to it a lot. So I was like, I kind of hurt was hearing that and hearing this and kind of comparing them. And honestly, the only main difference that I can pick out between the two is that Tom, uh, Tommy is singing this in his second language. So first off there's that, but so just, I mean, the, obviously, so the way that he's going to pronounce some words is going to be different just because that's the way it is with speaking a second language, but also, oh man. So the singer for Disturbed, he added a little bit more like gruff to it, a little bit more of like a growl or a grit to his vocals because that's just the way his voice is. And Tommy like added a little bit of it, but he kept it mostly, I don't want to say clean, but for this lack of better phrasing, we'll go with that. He kept his more clean and I can appreciate both for what they are. And I don't have, as some people say where I am, I don't have a druther would rather, but yeah, it's just, it's, uh, it's so respectful to the source material. It's fantastic, but it's also, you again, it's one of those things where it's respectful to the source material. It has the spirit of the original cover that he's doing, but also it has its own unique flares and characteristics to it. It's just ex expertly well done yet again. Fool said I will do not know. Silence like a cancer grows Hear my words that I might teach you Take my arms that I might reach you But my words like silent raindrop fell And echo Just before going into the end and the swell with the instruments, I just want to say you can so clearly hear the emotion in his voice as he's singing this song. Some people you can tell when there is just pure unbridled emotion pushing them in a performance. And with this one, it's there. It It's not a quantifiable or a describable thing. It's a feeling. When you're listening to a song and you just like get hit with it, that's when, for me at least, that's how I can describe it at least, that that's when I know that like the person singing the song was giving it their all, not only with their, with their voice, but also just with the emotions that they are throwing into the recording. And it's, it's palpable with this song. It's, it's definitely, I don't know what else to say, but other than it's there. And it's phenomenal. Of silence. I sat in silence for a solid minute or two, just after that just processing things that was phenomenal <laughs> i have nothing else to say so this has been i guess my reaction to tommy johansson's cover of um sound of silence dedicated to his friend christian um Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Go listen to and or watch the original video. Um, go leave a like, go leave comments over there, give that video engagement, push it up in the algorithm. It's not new, but you know, any old videos can get boosts now and then. But with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, 
I'll talk to you guys all next time. God bless.